happy. Awesome. Unique. <laughs> Fun. Thriving. <laughs> CSQ is different from other schools in the fact that I don't feel treated like a number here. I feel like I'm able to explore more choices that were not available in other schools. CSD has a lot more opportunities than a lot of schools. We got that whole, or we got like a bunch of apprenticeships. Uh, apprenticeships. The dual enrollment thing is way more smoothed out, which is awesome because I love dual enrollment. Uh, CSD is a lot smaller than most schools, but it has such a big diversity in like the programs and classes that it offers. Like our arts section is huge. I think CSD is different from other schools because the staff and teachers are really involved in the students and I know at other schools they're not as you know and even if you don't try to put an effort out the teachers will always put an effort out to help you. CSD is different from other schools that I've gone to just I feel like it's a family just because of how maybe just because of how small the the classes are and just the amount of people you're around. I think the big way CSD is different is since it's a smaller school there's more of a focus on like personal connections with teachers. I feel like I have a personal relationship with all my teachers this year and in years past and I feel like the curriculum is really set up for you to learn and be successful in all the right areas while still being challenging. So. I feel like we have a lot of freedom here to kind of um, take a second and evaluate yourself and know what type of person, what type of student you're going to be. I feel like here you get to study like more than rather than a public school because in a public school you have like four blocks so you have more time to study here. Um, I definitely feel a lot more supported here. Um, there's a lot of resources. Teachers are definitely willing to work with you. Arts have impacted my time at CSD greatly. I feel like the art that I make today wouldn't be possible without CSD. Um, just being inspired, being one of the, the few uh, Latin American students at CSD just kind of made me want to showcase my art more and kind of give a voice to people that don't usually have a voice. I was not, when I started off high school, I was not going to take any art classes. I was going to take art history, which um, I thought was really interesting, but I didn't want to take an actual art. So I guess coming here, I was able to um, cultivate an actually more artistic side. So I take ceramics, and I've been able to really improve and find, a, like honestly, like a sort of passion for ceramics that I would never have found otherwise, I feel. Uh, so the arts, more than anything, has been super impactful. Uh, we've got like a full music studio, there's a drum set, uh, and there's just Mac minis all over the place. Like the school runs on Mac minis, that's what I used to tell all my friends. Arts has impacted my life a lot. I actually found one of my biggest passions, which is woodworking, through CSD. I can't imagine any other situation in which I would have found wood arts or woodworking. Um, I've actually like gone out on road trips to find like woodworking shops. I've met people. I've taken classes out of school, and it's generally had like a really positive. Um, as it's just been a positive aspect of my life. I feel like. The arts program has a really big, big impact on me. I just did um, a booth for an uh, art show in Davidson, and I most definitely wouldn't have done that without CSD. I got an internship at an art studio because of one of the teachers here who offered it to me. Um, so the arts program and the teachers and the community and admin have been a very big part of my um, passion. <laughs> I can't tell you the amount of hours I've spent in the beat making room, recording studio, band room, just really messing around and uh, exploring different avenues that CSD has to offer. Uh, sports has also impacted my time here greatly. I've spent countless hours in the gym, on the track, you know, really just trying to be the best version of myself and learning how to be a leader on and off the field. I think it's very nice that CSD prioritizes um, making sure that everyone is involved in the arts to some degree. I think it's very good that we have that as a part of our education. I think it makes us as students much more well-rounded. Um, and then clubs, I really like that there's a large variety of topics. There's even a club 
called Frog Club, where we just sit around and occasionally talk about frogs. It's great. Um, it's really just anything that you can imagine, and there's even the slight bit of interest for you can make that club and just have a good time with people who are interested in similar things. Um, service has impacted my CSD life um, by just getting me out in the community and doing what's right. Um, I know, you know, at a lot of other schools they like require you to do service and you bring in a sheet, but whereas the CSD, you really are hands-on in school. We get dedicated service Fridays once a month to go out and help serve our community. I think service, I think service has really impacted, like service and the leadership part of service has really impacted my time at CSD. Um, before junior year, I was really nervous about like community service on my college applications and I felt like starting super early, they kind of gave you the opportunities in school to achieve those service requirements, but then also I think CSD has such a big space for students to fill leadership positions in whatever way they want. Like this year I was able to do all the cool things I could do and they weren't like fitting one category and I think it's really cool to see like has all these spaces where students can learn how to be leaders and I think that's really cool to learn as a high schooler. I think CSD has well prepared me to like go up to professors or bosses and how to respectfully ask and communicate efficiently. CSD has influenced the person I am today greatly. I feel like it kind of forced me out of my shell. Just, I've always kind of been a shy person, but just meeting new people and just talking to people. I also think it's really made me into a much stronger leader than I would have been at a different school, because again, it, it does give you like all these spaces to grow, and it's not just like, okay, this is the one definition of a leader. We have like, like every single student I feel like can be a leader in their own way, so I feel like CSD has like a thousand definitions for what that is. And I think they really let kids like kind of grow into their own. And I think it really taught me how to uh, get along with different types of people. I think CSD has really given me a chance to grow my perspectives on things. It's a very, the environment makes it very easy to discuss difficult topics so long as, you know, there's an interest to do so. CSD, it influenced me to be a better person, become better of myself. Well, CSD has definitely influenced who I am by making me be outgoing and, you know, be myself. At a lot of schools, people shell who they are so that they can fit in or any of that, but at CSD, you don't have to do that. You're yourself all the time, and you'll find your group, and you'll find your people, and the teachers will still love you for yourself. I mean, everyone has a different story, but I feel like everyone is generally happy here. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a big mental health, like, advocacy um, and there, I feel like my experience is there have been a lot of resources um, for a happy environment so I feel like the class of 2023 is just like happy and inviting. Whether it be showing up and matching outfits to a school dance or putting together a senior uh, cookout <laughs> a day before it actually happens. I feel like when we need to get something done, we can all come together and put our brains together and make something happen that's really cool. I feel like our grade's been really close knit since we were like really little, um, especially if we have a huge group that's kind of gone through like all elementary school together. But I also think we had to learn a lot because we were freshmen when COVID hit, so like that was obviously like a huge impact to us. And so I think we all kind of became closer in that idea of like this is high school and like you only really have one chance, especially when all of a sudden you lose like your freshman and sophomore year and you're like, what in the world is happening? So I think we all kind of learned like this was our one chance to do what we wanted to do in high school. What's unique about the class of 2023 is just the sheer amount of just different things people do and just how talented everyone is when it comes to sports, basketball, football, tennis, golf. And just not only that, but the arts, um, photography, illustration, theater. During our freshman year, we would hear from the upperclassmen about some of the teachers and what the classes were like. And then that was just like completely uprooted. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to like know as many of the teachers as personally. Uh, and, and I just think like COVID is going to affect us all really long term happening in freshman year. 
I think what's unique about the class of 2023 is that we are the only class that started off with COVID. And the reason why I'm um, reiterating this is that we never got our beginning. Like we had to basically build up from high school from quarantine up. So this, in my opinion, is the only year in which we actually got to feel relatively normal. Thank you for helping me become a better student, a better person, and a better role model in life. Thank you for supporting me so much. Um, it's been very nice being able to feel like I could come and go to you with problems I was having and that you would not only offer me good advice but also be very understanding of the situation I was in, even if some of my perspectives might be fueled by teenage ignorance. Thank you for hearing me out and being able to just offer me sound advice while not invalidating the situation. Just thank you. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to be on the path that I'm on without the opportunities that have been given to me by my teachers. Um, I, I mean, they're just, they have a lot of patience and that is something that students like me need. Thanks teachers. <laughs> but I don't think I want to say to my teachers is just thank you for always being there and always pushing me to be the best person I can be. All of my teachers, like, I don't have enough good things to say. Like, I could, like, sit here and talk about for hours about all my teachers, but I just really want to thank them because they're all perfect, and I think they're all those, like, type of teachers that you'll remember the rest of your life. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. I feel like the teachers I've just built a, a really strong connection to, and they care about me not only on an academic level, but on a personal level, and just have always been fans of my artwork and my talent and just thank you so much for what you do. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys have like made my high school experience so amazing and I've learned absolutely so much. So I'm sending all the biggest love to all of the teachers at CSD. Uh, yeah, I love you guys. My math teachers have been just always shining. I love my teachers. You guys are so great. You guys made this year really, I, I, I ended this year on a happy note. So I'm, I'm grateful for you guys. <laughs> I would just like to say thank you to every teacher. You were all so incredibly awesome and helped me become the man I am today. Friendly. Caring. Community. Unique. Family. Hope. <laughs> Your dreams coming true. That's, multiple That's what I would That's say. If I could sum it up in just one word, that would be it.